I've been modifying games for over 20 years right now, I think. But what I always loved to do the most was creating new stuff, new environments, new maps, especially in Unreal Engine. Well, the first Unreal Engine dates back from 1998, so already 20 years ago. Nowadays, we do have Unreal Engine 4, which is a fantastic tool to easily create the most great looking landscapes. It has the best lighting, which can look up to photorealism. It has uh, real-time ray tracing integrated, VR support, but also the surfaces, materials, which you can use in Unreal Engine 4 are really, really great. And everyone can use it. If you're just a hobbyist or a professional studio, Unreal Engine 4 is for everyone. The thing which usually is a little bit tricky is creating uh, characters and animations within Unreal Engine. And it is very common that people usually use an external 3D animation or 3D modeling program to do that. Right now, iClone is probably the best program for that because it's the fastest real-time 3D animation software right now in the industry. So, an example, if you are a mother, but also for professional video game creation, animations, but also things like content development, education and art, this can be used. It's a great tool. And what's even more greater is that nowadays the iClone Unreal Life link is available. And what this is, is a perfect simple integration with the iClone software in Unreal Engine. And why is this so special? This means you're able to control all that stuff in Unreal Engine and you don't have to export uh, all these files and all these projects and have to import it again in Unreal Engine. So it is a perfect happy marriage between Unreal Engine and a 3D model program, in this case, iClone. So that's what we're going to check out right now. And you guys know I only review stuff when I really think it's interesting and when I think it's really, really something new. So before I start to explain why this is such important and why you should care, I would like to point out that if you want to start a game company or start creating a game by yourself, now is the time to do this in Unreal Engine 4. It's more easier than ever to create a great looking project. The engine is free to use. And um, yeah, you know, when I did create maps and environments in the first Unreal uh, back in 1998, it was a lot more difficult. The engine was a lot more unstable. And also, it, it just took a lot more work to create something good looking. And nowadays in Unreal Engine 4, you don't need to have a lot of super advanced knowledge to actually create something great. Check out some tutorials to start with. And if you're able to, you know, find a couple of guys and you have a dream to start a game, creating a game, now is the time to do that in Unreal Engine 4. So what I said earlier, also back then, what was more the complex things was to create characters and animations because you had to use a third party program and had to import it back in the first Unreal Engine. And that was pretty, pretty terrible to do, if I have to be honest. I, uh, I tried something with Maya myself, but I, uh, I quit with that and I just stick to creating maps and environments. But what the guys from iClone did with this, uh, with this iClone uh, Unreal Life Link is that you are able to just real time check out how your character works and just import it or at least mirror it directly inside Unreal Engine. So that's really cool. You don't have to export your uh, project. You can use it directly in Unreal Engine. So let's have a look at the official diagram to perhaps understand a little bit better why this is such a happy marriage between iClone and Unreal. Because on the left side, you can see what iClone has to offer. And on the right side, of course, what the Unreal Engine has to offer. For applications, you can use it for games, films, architecture demos, and any, any other virtual production. Because the iClone Unreal Life Link is such a unique solution and what it has to offer, I think it would be best to summarize these unique features that it has at the end of this video. So like I said earlier, you do have the option to actually pick characters from their library and morph them to your liking. And also, uh, like I said earlier as well, you have the ability to pick armors, clothing, hairstyles, all that kind of stuff and customize the characters you like without need to have any knowledge of creating models in iClone. So definitely saves you a lot of time and work. 
So once you did create or generate a character, you can directly send it into Unreal without having to export any FBX files. You can directly control lighting and camera in iClone itself. So this gives you better control and also better overview of what you're actually doing. It's also easier to see which results lighting has on your models, your uh, materials which you're using in Unreal so you can adjust them more to your liking. A cool thing is that character setup with iClone is fully automated. Skeleton remapping and the blueprints are being generated automatically so you don't need to worry about that anymore. The UE4 skeleton is fully supported in Life Link. This means that if you in example see a cool skeleton on the Unreal Engine 4 marketplace you are able to directly use that in iClone. And vice versa all iClone characters which are exported to Unreal are provided with the Unreal Skeleton. There is not only an asset library for characters and models, but also for animations. So if you have zero knowledge in doing animations, you can just get some animations from the Reillusion store and then you're able to just uh, put all of them in a timeline. It's very simple, just drag and drop them. You can speed up the animation or slow it down and have a very unique animation or animation sequence without needing to have any knowledge of animating. At any time, it's also possible to adjust these subtle animations. This is called Human IK and as you can see here, it really gives a lot of control over your character and the subtle movements. In addition to this, you are an example also able to puppeteer your character's facial expressions. Audio, lip sync and talking animations are being done directly in iClone itself. So this gives you a lot of control because you're able to record uh, voices directly in iClone or you're of course able to import pre-recorded footage. Icon also shows a very easy overview of thumbnails of facial expressions so you have an overview of what you can use for your character. Lifelink has the option to use multiple motion capture devices. And the best is it's all real time so you don't need to import or export anything. You can directly see the result of what you're capturing. So that are, in my opinion, the most unique selling points from iClone and the iClone Unreal Life Link. And if you are interested, you can check out the website to download free trials and check out the products for yourself. You can also find more info and demos there as well. So with that, we come to the end of this video. Hope you guys liked it and hope to see you at one of my next videos. So take care and bye bye.